there again, Guardians, and welcome back to the channel for another Destiny 2 episode. Today's Destiny video is featuring the Exotic Quest Guide, full details, the easiest steps possible to acquire the exotic sidearm Rat King, and it's the hardest exotic so far to acquire in Destiny 2. So before we begin, I have to first warn you about a couple of spoilers in the beginning of this quest guide pertaining to the story. So if you haven't completed the main story campaign, at least go do that first and then come back to this video. Also, I'm giving away this emblem on the screen, so if you're still watching the video, all you have to do to enter is be subscribed, share your support and like the video, and leave a comment down below. Now to begin this guide, I am going to warn you, again, there are spoilers, so let's begin. The campaign story missions, when you get through the actual end of the campaign story, you kill Gaul, and then you unlock the brand new tower. Once you spawn into the brand new tower for the first time, that is when you can go back to your directory and go to the Titan Moon. The moon of Saturn, go to Titan, mile. and then from there you can actually go to that location Sorry, and talk to Sloan. Talking to Sloan will activate a series of tasks of quests called you know, Enemy of My Enemy. After completing the third and final quest from Sloan, you then get the fusion core for her, but you also unlock a kinetic item, or a item in your kinetic slot, known as the Rat King's Crew. It's going to have a riddle on it, so the first riddle is on the screen now. And basically, that pertains to all of your fire team members in your fire team. You have to have at least one person with you at all times pertaining to this quest. So once you acquire the Rat King's crew, pretty much make sure you have two of your friends with you to do the quest with you throughout the entire thing. You don't have to have the second guardian with you have the quest, but it's useful because you unlock two Rat Kings at the same time. And the more people that you have doing this at the exact same time means more damage overall pertaining to the perks, which are amazing, by the way. So let's delve into this. The first riddle is on the screen, and it pertains to doing patrols. You have to complete three patrols in any of the worlds. You can go anywhere. You can stay on Titan if you want to. It doesn't matter. Then from there, the second riddle is pertaining to public events. You have to complete two public events, and the riddle is on the screen here now, so if you want to read the riddle. But you have to do this with, again, another fire team member. At least one other person has to be with you through the entire quest line. After that, the third riddle pops up, and that's to go and complete two, I say two, crucible matches. And the riddle for the fourth one is up on the screen now, and that is pertaining to the Nightfall. Now, the Nightfall is the hardest portion to this because you don't have to just complete the Nightfall with another fire team member, which is pretty standard. You normally always have two of your friends with you at all times when you're doing the Nightfall. But on top of that, you also have to complete it with five minutes remaining on the clock. Now, the Nightfall for this week is the difficult challenge because it starts you off with 10 minutes and killing enemies will add two seconds to the clock or seven seconds for any ultra or major that you kill. So being able to kill yellowheads inside of the nightfall is very crucial. But on top of that, your kinetic weapons are going to be the standard damage that you can deal. And your abilities, arc, solar, or void, depending on your class or your weapons, are also going to dish out more damage during certain modifiers. So on the screen during the nightfall, it will tell you that arc energy is surrounding you. If arc energy is surrounding you, you want to be able to use your arc weapons preferably. Make sure that your fire team pretty much divides up into one guardian having arc and solar, one guardian having arc and void, and another guardian having void and solar. That way you can alternate between your actual damage types and make sure that someone with a kinetic weapon is always using their weapon no matter what is going on. And that's how you're going to effectively defeat the Nightfall. Once you defeat the Nightfall with at least 5 minutes or more remaining on the clock, you will then be granted with the Rat King Exotic Sidearm. Congratulations, Guardians. Guardians, the Rat King's on my back. And it looks pretty cool when you hold it, too. It's pretty awesome. It is a silver chrome rat skull on the back with a bunch of rats running down the barrel. And if you get close to a fire team holding the Rat King, it activates the Intrinsic Exotic Perk, which allows you to do more damage as long as your fire team members are also using it alongside you, and as long as they're close enough to you. Now, looking at the Rat King, this is what it looks like down the side of the barrel. 
looks pretty awesome, especially with that intrinsic perk activated. So now let's take a look at those perks. Now that we have Rat King, the exotic sidearm, the hardest exotic to acquire in Destiny 2 as of right now, I want to go over the perks and then take it in the field and show you what it's actually capable of. So Rat King exotic sidearm. The description reads, we are small, but we are legion. And alongside that, going over to the lore, I have it on the screen. That way, if you want to read it, you can pause the video right now and read through the lore. It's actually pretty interesting what it has. There's not too much lore on it, but it's interesting nonetheless. Now moving on to the perks. We've got the intrinsic exotic perk known as Rat Pack. This weapon becomes stronger when nearby allies also have it equipped. It stacks up to six times. Now, this is insane. It's the hardest exotic to acquire, but probably the most damage output exotic that we can acquire in Destiny 2 as of right now. Rat Pack's intrinsic perk will add a little bit of extra damage per every fire team member that has it equipped. And on top of that, all six guardians in your fire team, say if you're in the raid, also have that perk active per six guardian. So you actually have an increase of roughly 36 times the initial damage increase on the rat pack, which is pretty interesting. So say the rat king per bullet does 100 damage, and with the rat pack increase, you get initially with one other fire team member using it, probably an increase of maybe 20. And then that means that you're going to get 20 per each character in your fire team, and that's a lot of damage overall if all six of the guardians are actually using it. So pretty awesome perk nonetheless. Um, pretty advanced theory on that, but we're going to test the numbers in the raid in the future, so stay tuned for that. Moving on, small boar. Then we've got tactical mag. Then we've got vermin. This trait allows for reloading immediately after a kill, grants a brief period of invincibility. We'll be showing you that very soon. On top of that, smooth grip. And the impact, the range, stability, handling, and reload speed feels pretty nice the way it is. It's got 300 rounds per minute, and magazine is 15. Nonetheless, it's going to be a very fun exotic to use inside of Trials of the Nine and inside of the Raid. We'll have both of those for test videos up on the channel very soon, later this week, once both of those are released. So stay tuned for both those videos later on the channel. This is the Vermin perk in action. When you get a kill and you reload, you go immediately invisible for a short period of time. You can kill someone else, reload, go invisible. Pretty awesome perk nonetheless, and I cannot wait for people to use it inside of Trials or inside of the raid. Now, Guardians, it's time for me to bid you farewell. I hope you all acquire the Rat King. But before I leave this video, I want to actually put the entire Nightfall that we did in the backdrop of the video so you guys can watch that. I am actually going to just let you watch the full gameplay. I'll have a full guide of the Nightfall going up later today as well to make it a little easier for every single person. But hopefully this gives you a rough idea on how to complete the Nightfall with a fire team and what weapons I decided to use and what subclass I used. So again, as always, I hope this guide helps you. If it does, remember to leave a like, share it with your fellow guardians, and as always, perfect time to subscribe for daily Destiny content here on the channel. And huge shout out to the patrons on the screen now. Stay violent, be privileged. We need to get further into the base. If I can access their network. Uh, turns out Zod's network is different from the Red Legion. Good different or bad different? Did I just see a flare shoot into the sky? Look, let's not get into what might have shot into the sky and which enemy just summoned a bunch of reinforcements. You sound like you. Oh, thank you.
high concentration of solar energy over there. Guardian Town. I didn't mean for you to pick it up, but we'll work with this. Is this what be brave means for you, Guardians? You know it's a prayer. True Guardian grabs the news and walks around. Sounded like a nice dunk. Dunk? Yeah, that's what we Guardians call it when we jam a radioactive fuel cell into an exhaust vent. He wouldn't understand. Zan's lieutenants aren't messing around. Think we've seen the last of them? He's bound to have more. Insecure men tend to surround themselves with others like them. Kate, anything to add? Nope, she's totally right, which is why I work alone. Well, this looks familiar. Yeah, funny story about the Oroban. Cabal and their weird ship names. I think it was the Orobas Victura. Yeah, that one. Zahn moved in after he put the horse out to pasture. He's in there somewhere. We're inside the ship again. Zahn can't be far now. Could be some really weird defenses in there, not just flame turrets. I'm talking really. Well, it wouldn't be a Red Legion base without another indoor tank. Don't mess with them. They need to stay focused.
gun is here. And the flame turret. Is he using the flame turret? Yes. him corner in an airfield.
Hands on. Yeah. Sounds like I returned at just the right time. Oh, hi. Maybe she isn't here right now, but I guess you enjoyed the content. So over there is the logo you can click on. That will allow you to subscribe. More content up there and behind the scenes daily content over here on the vlog channel. There you go. Enjoy.